So this is the section of the test that I'm going to be covering for this video, and that's the uh, menu option. And to make it easier, I've already opened the file here. And this is what it looks like when, when you're working with it. Let me go on the one, one page view so you can see. When it comes in, you're going, you don't have it formatted at all, but it tells you what needs to be done. So of course, one of the first steps um, is to name the file. So let's, after I've opened it, I'm gonna take it in and uh, name it and probably in one of my assignment uh, folders. Uh, well, let's see, it would be back here. Oh, and I could have it under a test folder that, um, and we would just call it test one menu. It's still, let's see. So it's then menu and then your name after that. So this is my sample test. Okay. Now, um, what I've done when I do these kind of uh, instructions for this type of a test, notice that I've taken each area and outlined what you should be doing, and I do it in chronological order. It makes it a lot easier if you follow the order of the steps. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm saying format the heading first, then go to setting the tabs, then format the entree font, then the descriptions, then tab the prices to the correct position. So if you do all of these in, those, in this order, it's gonna be a lot easier. So let me go back to the test. And um, so now my first step is to format the headings. Now those are uh, this cold salads and warm entrees. So it's that heading is supposed to be Casteller. And it's 16 points, bold, and it's centered. Now I've got the heading there, and I'm going to use the same heading for the next one. So all I really have to do is use my format painter and highlight it. And then I get my second heading. Now I'm setting the tabs. So um, what you want to do is highlight all your text so that you've got your tabs all set in the right places. So it says a five inch leader tab. And so I'm going to come up to my tabs in my paragraph menu. And here is where I'm going to make sure that I have a five inch and it's a leader and it's uh, option number two. And I'm going to set that one. Then I'm going to do a six inch right tab, and I'm going to set that one, and click OK. Now because I highlighted all of this text, and like I, I demonstrated in class, now everything has the same tab setting, and I don't have to worry about setting my tabs again. Now I'm going to format the entrees, and those are, those are just the titles, so it's just, okay, so here we go. Um, the chop that would be the information with the uh, with the price those are the entrees and those are going to be Corbell and they're 16 points and single space with no space after so I'm good so far now all I have to do at that point is to again format painter and I double clicked it so it would stay on when I w work with it but I'm just going to highlight the areas that all have prices and here and go. Alright so now I've formatted my um, entrees 
and um, next is my descriptions. So now I need to turn the format painter off because I have some new ones. So I click on it, turn it off. Then I have to highlight the text that I'm going to be formatting with this new format. And that one's supposed to be Corbell as well. So it's Corbell 12 points, single space with an extra space after. There we go. So that's 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 the way all the uh, uh, descriptions are going to be formatted. So I just take that one again, double click my format painter. Oh, I spaced it. So it's on, but I want to double click it because if you double click it stays on. So now it's on and you see I've got my little painter and I come in through and grab only the descriptions and see how it changes the font. Oh, this should be with it too. There, and this one, and here we go. There. Okay, now because I, um, oh, l l let me do the, take off the format painter first. Now because I went ahead and, and uh, uh, set those tabs early on, all I have to do now is hit tab and I hit it twice so that it, see, to show you what happens, that leader tab has dots in front of it. And when you hit the second time, see it lines it up the number to the right at the six, six inch mark that I wanted. So here we go. Um, again, afterwards, I'm gonna hit I'm going to click my mouse before the dollar sign in each one of these entrees. And tab twice. Tab, tab. Tab, tab. Again. And again. And here you go. All right. That is ready to go. All I would have to do is save it. So it was a quick video, but that's the there's what there's how your menu should look and you're in good shape.